Nice to meet you. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. So why, uh, why are you pursuing theater? I've tried it once in high school and honestly, I really enjoyed the rush I had from it mm -hmm. and it was extremely fun for me mm -hmm. and I thought it was something I'd like to pursue other than music, so. Awesome, yeah. all right. Very nice. Um, what, what what drives your passion for theater? What's there? Like what what's at the <laughs> core of you that makes you just want to totally just dive into theater? Honestly, I like working with the characters that I'm usually given. Mm -hmm. Like what makes them what they are and why they are the way they are. Mm -hmm. It's just very fascinating for me. Awesome. Um, here at South Coast Rep, we're really unique in that we um, are a professional theater where you can come and perform, but we also have really amazing um, intensives, really awesome classes that are taught by working professionals. Um, is Are you still um, you know, involved in training? Are you still taking classes and, and doing as much as you can to hone your craft? Yeah, I'm working in classes and to uh, make myself better because I want to be the best that I can be. Mm -hmm. Awesome. That's great. All right. Um, so I guess with any role that you're given, any set that you have to work on, um, have you ever had to deal with difficult cast members? Oh, uh, yeah. You yeah. have? Yeah. yeah. How, how have you um, handled those situations? Honestly, I didn't really let them know that I was frustrated. I would just, it's not really healthy to hold it in, but mm -hmm. that's what I did. Mm -hmm. I just faked not even being annoyed or whatever. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> right, yeah, you, you carry on the acting off, off the stage too as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you could say that. That's awesome. Yeah. Now, um, let me ask you, um, if by chance, for whatever reason, uh, if you didn't get the role you wanted in a play, like you really had your heart set on but you just didn't get it, would you consider like going up for smaller roles or even rather other positions involved when it comes to putting a theatrical production on? Yeah, I believe I would. As mm -hmm. the saying it goes, you get what you get and you don't get upset. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what other um, jobs regarding the production of a show interest you other than acting? Well, building the set seems honestly to be fun. Mm -hmm. I honestly enjoyed when we had to help out with Strike. Mm -hmm. Just demolishing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that, that was fun. Pretty cathartic, yeah. And also They're therapeutic. And, and good yeah. workout, so. Yeah, there you go. Awesome. Very nice. You also seem to be a very um, experienced musician you play a couple of different instruments um yeah yeah you do singing as well um i'm not that confident in my singing voice mm -hmm. to be honest mm -hmm. but you have that ability you have yeah. that musical capability would you be interested in doing um, musical theater as well or playing an instrument for a musical theater production yeah yeah i would mm -hmm. be interested mm -hmm. have you done anything like that in the past um hmm, no 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 so you mostly just focused on the on the acting side of everything so far. Yeah. Awesome. Great. I mean, I did play on the radio one time with my teachers, so. Oh, that's really cool. Tell yeah. us about that. Yeah. It was a couple of years ago. Um, let's see. He called me up, asked me if I'd like to perform with him on the radio. I'm like, yeah. That'd be a fun experience. Mm -hmm. I've never done something like that before. And so I tried it and I had a blast. Talking about radio, um, I think I saw it here in your uh, resume. You've had some previous experience like vo doing voiceovers and stuff as well, correct? I, um, I don't think I have if I put that in my resume. I mean, I've done some stuff for my friends. Mm -hmm. They didn't record it, they just asked me to do it for fun. 
apparently I have range, but... Oh, okay. All right. Well, let me ask you, if, you, if, if someone ever did Alfie a radio gig, would you be interested in doing something like that? Yeah, I believe I would be interested. Because mm -hmm. you just seem to have a very strong, very caring voice. Thank you. I feel like that'd be something good, you know, like, throw out there to the... You shouldn't hide that from the public. Mm -hmm. they, yeah. The public wants to hear your voice. Yeah, yeah I agree. So what is your long-term goal in auditioning for this role? What do you hope, you know, because you further want to work with South Coast Repertory, what what could we do to help you reach your goal? Yeah, I would like to continue in, in you working with them in the long term. Mm -hmm. Honestly, just become a better actor and maybe also kind of get my music started. Not, I don't know if like I can do musical theater. Probably, yeah. Mm -hmm. My best friend's currently in a successful band so mm -hmm. yeah so connection oh, cool. I have one connection um would you say you're a versatile actor would you say that you have experience in comedy and drama or is there one that you lean towards specifically honestly I'd really like to try out more drama mm -hmm. most of the plays I've been in have been comedy mm -hmm. um you can say I yeah, mostly comedy. I believe I'm doing a drama, The Ash Girl, mm -hmm. at Saddlebacks. So. Oh, cool. Yeah. So you're currently in a production. Yeah, That's great. It, my character is form of slightly comedic, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd like to try drama, like to be exposed. Awesome. So do you want to work towards, um, you know, versatility in your craft? Yeah. Or perfect. Yeah, I don't want to be typecast as comedic. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Right. <clears throat> and then um, last but not least, or something to consider, we're um, within our the within our program here, and also just in general, when it comes to theater, where do you see yourself going in the next five to ten years? Where where do you, Honestly, do you want to go? Honestly, I'd like to do theater and hopefully some film. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As for acting, I think I would really like to do that. Mm -hmm. Do you separate the two, like theater acting from film acting, or do you, does it just kind of come naturally when you're in, in both, when you're in those given environments? Honestly, I haven't really tried film acting. I would mm -hmm. love to try that, but I believe I wouldn't be as loud or as like mm -hmm. overly expressive as in theater. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. Because both, while both acting, they're different. Yeah, absolutely. So you would be pursuing more um, classes, more training, whatnot, as well? Yeah. Excellent. That's great. Um, do you have a monologue prepared? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I love that. I yeah. love that confidence. That's great. Yeah. So um, this monologue is from Impenetrable by Mia McAuliffe. Awesome. I'm not saying I've been in love with her all this time. I watched her date a rotation of assholes, and I got kind of disgusted. I mean, I don't know, you do things. You make up reasons not to respect people, so you won't care. I mean, people do that, right? No one wants to be hung up on a girl who's never gonna date them. So, you know, I got over her. Dated other people, smoked a lot of dope, flunked out of school. I mean, not because of Talia, because I'm unmotivated or whatever. Anyhow, it was the summer after I would have graduated. No, two. And all my friends were, you know, launching themselves, starting their careers, and I got nothing. Nothing but some pissed off parents and a vague interest in photography. Mm -hmm. So I decided to put a book together and a website. And I knew Talia had modeled, and yeah, okay, I wanted to see her. So I looked her up and asked if she'd be willing to do a shoot with me. And she said yes. Back then, just asking her if she wouldn't maybe mind posing in a swimsuit, she was totally fine with it. <clears throat> yeah, she was. Yeah, and back then that day, taking pictures, it stirred up some things, old feelings, and then, yeah, and honestly, when I first felt it, I was thinking, no man, just push it aside, don't go there. We were reminiscing about college and how we first met. 
and I was thinking maybe it doesn't matter anymore. That whole out of my league thing, maybe I'm not... I mean, look at her, she's laughing at my jokes, and we're really relaxed, but... But no, total brush off. She's still out of my league. Thank you.